Good morning, evening, night, whatever, whenever, wherever. I'm Rooster, and I'm going to show you how to install third-party launchers like Origin and Ubisoft Connect on the Steam Deck. First, from desktop mode, we're going to need to download the installer from the web. I'm going to be downloading Ubisoft Connect here, so I just go to the website and download the normal Windows .exe file. Once that is downloaded, we can now open Steam and add a non-Steam game. Make sure to show all files here and locate the file. Mine is in my downloads folder and select it. Once it is added, we now need to head to the properties, compatibility, and enable the proton layer to work with this game. Now we can play the game and it should load the installer for the launcher like a Windows PC. You can see here that it can be a little glitchy at times, but it still works uh, when you get around all of that. We can now install as normal. Once the launcher is installed, we can remove the installer from Steam. Next, we need to add the launcher we just installed as a non-Steam game. To locate this, we need to go back to the home, deck, dot local, then share, Steam, Steam apps, and compat data. Here, you will see these folders with just lots of numbers. The launcher will be one of the longer ones. Using the date modified uh, section on this right hand side here can really help you find the right one. Inside, go to PFX, Drive C, Program Files x86, and then the folder for the launcher, change the file type to all files, and find the exe file. Once that is added, we can force the Proton layer again, the same way as we did for the installer, and then we can test it. It loads fine, and now we just need to sign in. Once we have signed in, we can see we have Ubisoft Connect running in desktop mode. It works as expected with full functionality. Let's switch back to Steam interface and launch it from there. You should find it in the non-Steam game section. And with that, we have Ubisoft Connect installed and running on the Steam Deck. I'm now going to quickly run through the process again for Origin, where I can show you a solution to a small issue you may run into when installing games on some launchers. Installing is the exact same process. Add the installer as a non-Steam game, force the use of Proton, launch it and install as normal. Locate and add the newly installed launcher as a non-Steam game, force Proton, sign in and you're good to go. You can now launch the launcher in desktop or Steam OS mode, but you may notice an issue when you try to install some Origin games. As you can see here, we are told that there isn't enough space to install our game. This is because of where Origin is currently trying to install. What we need to do is change the install location and we'll be taken to this menu. Here, we can choose a new location to install. I like to choose the program files folder, but the choice is yours. Just type in the name in the section below. It will say files does not exist, but that's fine, we're creating it. Now, this will install the game in this location under the folder of the name you gave it. So if you want to be more organized like me, then you may wish to create a folder such as Origin Games and select that instead. You can now see that Mass Effect Legendary Edition is set to install inside the Origin Games folder and we no longer have the error message preventing us from installing. Now we just wait for the game to download. Okay, we're back after the install is finished and we're now ready to play an Origin game on the Steam Deck. I'm launching this from the Steam OS mode, not desktop mode, and as you can see, it runs fine without any issues. I'm able to launch Mass Effect Legendary Edition, I can select exactly which game in the trilogy that I want to play, and I can play it all I want. Uh, you can see I've got a solid 60 FPS in the menus, which is always a good sign to start off with, and so far gameplay has been pretty good. Well, there you have it. Those are the steps to installing third-party launchers on the Steam Deck. Most will work fine with minimal issues in my experience. The only one currently that I know for certain does not work is the Xbox launcher due to the file system that they use. And as such, the only way at the moment to play your Game Pass games is via the cloud service. I hope this video was helpful and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and I'll try to help you best I can. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video as it really does help a lot and subscribe if you want to see more Steam Deck content. I also do regular gaming news roundup videos 
if you're interested in being kept up to date in the latest gaming news. Thanks for watching, especially if you made it this far, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.